You know what's better than fasting? Eating. Eating. And you know what's even best? Eating while fasting. Well, good news, because today we're gonna review a product that says you can have both. Have your fasting and eat it too. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we find something interesting on the interwebs, you'll be alerted to it. Okay, let's start off with this. This video is not sponsored. No. This company did not send this product to no. us. No. Most likely this company is going to regret the fact that it was ever advertised to me. Yes. Well, and this was not a cheap thing. It was not. We I paid purchased for this, this out of our own money. Uh, I The box was somewhere around $35. I know it was almost $3 a bar and you had to buy all 12 bars in a box. Um, so let's give you a little backstory. We're laying in bed in a hotel and I'm scrolling through Facebook. Why are you scrolling in Facebook instead of paying attention to me? That's a good point. I'm scrolling through Facebook. I'm checking our Facebook family group. Okay, there you go. Okay. Excuse. And this is why I don't like Facebook because for every one post that I want to see, like our Facebook group or the Keto Child Support group or Kim Howerton's group or a group that I actually want to see stuff from, I see about five advertisements. Again, why I don't like Facebook. And I keep clicking on don't show me these ads and then you find me more ads to show me. Right. And this thing pops up. It's called the Intermittent Fasting Bar. Well, maybe we should start off with this. The definition of fasting yeah, from the dictionary. Be because some people may not even know, like, what does intermittent fasting mean? Well, let's say the definition of fasting, according to the dictionary, is the abstinence from food or drink or both for health, ritualistic, religious, or ethical purposes. So it means don't eat or drink. Or both. Or both, or one of those things. So don't eat. Right. So do you understand why when I see, they're telling me that I can eat this and still be fasting. That's like jumbo shrimp. Right, it's an oxymoron. There, right. There's something about that that sends up a, a red flag and rightfully so. And so I was really intrigued and had to buy it. Yes. Now what is intermittent fasting? So intermittent fasting has to do with, there's windows of time, there's pockets of time in which you practice this. We don't fast forever, you would die, right? right. So we fast intermittently. One of the natural ways that we intermittent fast, we yeah. eat, then we go to bed and then we wake up the next morning and that period of sleeping provided a time of fasting where we didn't have to do any hard work, go without anything. Right. We slept through the fasting process. Now I understand before There's we get started. There's many different times you can do it. Most people automatically do eight to 10 or even yes. 12 hours. And then on keto, a lot of times we you can bring go in a little bit more. For stretches of time. Now, if you are trying to make your eating windows a little tighter, you may want to extend your fasting in between meals a little bit. And that can be a little bit more challenging during the waking hours, not because we gonna die if we don't eat. It's more a case of we're just used to eating at certain times and we're trying to break that well, habit. Well, according to this company. You don't have to change a thing. You don't have to change a thing. You can eat this bar and still fast. And I wanna show you the website. Yes. Okay, we're gonna try this. We're gonna do a five things review we on are. this, right? Should we show the website before or after? I just want I to... I guess if we show it before, it's kind of put a negative connotation on the whole thing. I just want to see, I don't know if it has it on here, but we did see in the other marketing for this, it was a picture of a glass of water 
with well, you're getting into the website an equal sign, but not a real equal sign. It like says a it's equal to water. Squiggly, squiggly equal sign, like sorta, sorta equal to this. So like this and regular plain old water could do the same exact that's what thing. That's what their claim is. Because we normally do drink water while we fast. Yeah, that's what their claim is. So we'll get into the website in a little bit. Okay. Uh, now, why would somebody fast? Because they want to get autophagy. Well, here's the thing. There are actually four different ways you can induce autophagy. The best is fasting, mm -hmm. not eating. Because autophagy is basically where you stress your cells and it sends them into a survival mode and that helps them basically eat themselves. Right. And you get rid of the old bad cells and it creates new ones. It's a really simplistic way of describing what autophagy is. We want that. It's a good thing. It's how our body rejuvenates itself. Then you can also calorie restrict, severely calorie restricting. So I tried we that all one. do that. I mean, again, when you go on a diet and you lower the amount, your body is going to automatically use some autophagy to compensate for lost nutrients. That's right. what it's doing. Another way to do it is to switch to a high fat, low carbohydrate diet, which is called? Keto. Keto. So we're all already doing that. So a lot of us have already done two out of the four ways before even getting into the fasting. And again, we've all been doing some type of fasting our entire life overnight. So we're just looking for how do we get deeper autophagy. The fourth way is exercise. Right. So if we're doing all four of those where we're exercising and we're doing keto and or carnivore, which is keto, and we're calorie restricting, which we don't like calorie restriction terms, but eating less than we need to lose weight. Well, and not you're not pushing past hunger and full signals. Right. You will naturally do that. If, if I don't try to force feed myself more than I actually need, I will yep. inadvertently calorie restrict. And then you add in your time-restricted eating, your fasting, maybe a 24, 48-hour fast every once in a while. You're going to have great results with autophagy. I think that's one of the reasons why when we're on keto, we all look younger. Right. Well, right? exercise, though, is hard. Right. Changing over to a keto diet can be challenging. Any type of calorie restricting, like maybe I don't want to to uh, observe hunger and satiation signals. I just want to eat as much all the time. Maybe this would be a good product for me to use. Okay. Well, you ready to try it? Let's try it. There is some copy on the side. Okay. Don't read the ingredients yet. I'm not going to read the ingredients. Well, it should this, be just water. Discover the transformative benefits of fasting. Based on the science of prolonged fasting mimicking diet that keeps your body in a fasted state even though the body is being nourished, again, oxymoron, intermittent fasting bar is the first bar scientifically developed and tested to not break your fast. The combination of good fat from nuts and selected macro and micronutrients provides nourishment that you can feel full longer and conquer your cravings while you fast. Eat in the morning after your overnight fasting period to achieve your intermittent fasting goals. And then it does say, there's a little asterisk over it and says, benefits are seen when you compare glucose and ketone levels following a 15-hour overnight fast. More on their website. It does say non-GMO, gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, and keto-friendly. It sounds like a regular keto bar. Like you would purchase, like a perfect keto bar, like a Nola bar, right? Except for a perfect keto is not claiming Except that you for, can eat this and fast. Well, this sounds like food to me, right? Sounds yep. like food. Okay, they had three flavors. Um, the flavors were nut and honey, nut coconut and honey. macadamia, and chocolate chip. What's in this box? They had nut a variety box, but we couldn't get the variety box, so we chose... Coconut what? macadamia. Macadamia. Because it sounded the most keto friendly. It really did. Okay. So I really wanted to get all three, but we couldn't. So you ready? Yes. Okay. We're gonna we're not gonna look at the ingredients. If we don't get all three, I can get a nice new pair of shoes. Ooh, it looks like one of those very gummy bars. It smells like coconut. It does smell like coconut. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Break it open. I have no idea what's in this, but according to them, I'm not breaking my fast. Right, there's so. nothing in it. Practically I mean, squiggly line we water. We ate breakfast about three hours ago, so technically we're they're fasting. saying we're not fasting. We're still fasting. We're fasting right we're, now. We're not going to 
produce any insulin. This isn't even happening. This is happening. water. Ready? Water. Dink. Dink. It is delicious. Mmm. This tastes way better than water. That is delicious. Sometimes I have to force myself to drink water, but I feel like I'm I wouldn't right. have to force myself to drink this, except for there's a sour note on the bottom of that. You hear, taste it it was really good at first. Taste the sour? What's and that? Then I feel like I taste, yeah, sour like a date. It's like a, to me it's almost, it's like, it's registering like a little bit of vinegar in the back of my throat. That's a little odd. Mm. Not so delicious anymore. The upfront mouthfeel and really, chew. Really very sweet. Really nice. God, I What's definitely up with that sour? But it tastes like a date, which I don't like date, or figs. That doesn't it taste like a fig? It just got a real sour back note to it. Dang it. Five things. Five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one is Number the one. ingredients. What's in that? Nothing, water. Remember, keto friendly. Um, almonds, macadamia nuts, pecans. So far, so good. Yeah. Uh, vegetable fiber inulin. Okay. okay, so you got an inulin, it's vegetable fiber. Honey. So we're adding sugar. Okay. Coconut, flax seeds, natural flavors, sea salt, and rosemary extract. What is the sour? I don't know. I'm, maybe a combination of the vegetable fiber and the rosemary? Maybe. Because I like all the rest of the ingredients. I don't taste rosemary. I don't I taste don't, that flavor. I'm saying it's like a combination. But something's going on in there. Something not okay. right. But here's the thing. I love almonds. I love macadamia nuts. I love pecans. I love all of those things. But they're things. They're, they're actually happening. They're food. They're food that happens. And coconut and flaxseed. I mean, good quality ingredients. The, but they're things Vegetable that are fiber, happening. Vegetable fiber, inulin, eh. But honey, I probably would not eat, you know, on the norm. Hey, we've had the carnivore bar and, we, and the with Delicious. the honey, and it was really good, and but it really this, didn't impact this us. This didn't taste as good though. As the carnivore like, bar, like the carnivore bar was really, really tasty all the way through, and didn't have some sort of like bizarre sour aftertaste. So their use of honey is is working, and I don't think the use of honey is doing its full job here. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? 12, 12 bars in one of these boxes. Uh, each bar is a serving. One hundred and ninety calories, fourteen grams of fat, five grams of protein, eighteen total carbs. Okay. 18 total carbs. Okay, wait. Yeah, but bars, a lot of bars do have that many carbs. Yeah, like, but and you usually, 18 is my max on a keto friendly bar. I like to be around 10 or 12. Again, I'm looking at total, I'm looking at total, but I also do look at where are the carbs coming from? Is it coming from fiber? Is it coming from sugar alcohol? When it's that high on total carbs, I expect to see a lot of those carbs coming from sugar alcohols and not a lot of them coming from fiber. So Joe, there were no sugar alcohols in the ingredients. Joe, I'm not even talking about any of that. I am only comparing it to water. <laughs> They've chosen to compare themselves to water. We haven't gotten to the website yet. How okay. much fiber? So 18 total carbs. Cause yeah, if you're comparing this to another bar and we're calling it's it food. It's on the high end of a keto friendly bar. But it's in the range. It's right. in the range if you want to call it food. Then we, we could talk. So let's see. Dietary fiber, seven. Se seven of grams. And there's grams. no sugar alcohol. And they're saying, yeah, no sugar alcohol. So that alcohols. means it's 11, to it's 11 net carbs for a bar. Let's go back to Joe six years ago. I believed in net carbs because that's what we were taught and there wasn't a lot of talk about total carbs. Right. And, and again, there also weren't a lot of products. Um, Trying to trick us. Joe would have never touched this because he'd go 20 net carbs allowed in a day and this has 11 of them. Absolutely not. So right. six year ago, Joe would have said, this is not in any way keto friendly. I feel like six year ago, Rachel would have noticed that this is not a glass of water. I mean, I'm not perfect. Now but for the record. I feel like I would have known that lesson already. This is a thousand calories and the Bell's Brownie batter has how many total carbs? 12 total carbs. And the Bell's Brownie has 12 and that's banana muffin. And that is a thousand calories. With seven calories. grams of fiber. And that's acacia fiber, not vegetable inulin. And so this is 190 calories, 
for 18 total carbs. And this is a thousand for, for 12. 12. Just, just putting that out there. Of course, they don't claim to be water. Don't drink this. <laughs> Not for three. How do they taste? Not that good. Not like, great. I, at the first bite, I was like, this nice. is good. It tasted like nuts. And then there's something sour about there's it. There's something sour. That and it's, I, I would want to say maybe it's a rancid fat, but it's not. Oh, no, no, no. You, and this just showed up in the mail two days ago. Oh, no. It's brand spanking new. And there's, I know the taste of rancid fat. And you taste it right up front, too. And March are good through March of 2024. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just got like a sour note it's, as the back note. And it hits you in the back of the throat, not in the front. It's got to be the vegetable fiber inulin. Because yeah. listen, I love almonds and I love macadamia nuts and I love pecans and I love coconut. And I like fat flaxseed, which just gives you a texture. And let's face it, I love honey. Well, and I'm going to say, now you said that it tasted sweet, but I At didn't first. I didn't find it to be very sweet. Okay. I, I felt like it, it tasted... It does have three grams of added sugar. I felt like it. Ta I tasted more like the nuts. I don't taste a lot of coconut, which actually kind of surprises me because usually coconut... I don't like, taste coconut. Ta overwhelms everything. I get coconut texture. Yeah, but usually the flavor of coconut can yeah. be very pronounced. Number four, how much do they cost? Let's head on over to the website. This is a little deceiving because on here it says $30.24, but that is only if you um, subscribe. Right. If you don't subscribe, it is $33.60 a box. I hope is, you did not subscribe. So it is $2.80 a bar. Listen, here's the thing. It is... $34, even without shipping. It looks like they're calculating shipping. So I'm assuming we are also paying for shipping. Right. So kind of expensive. Yeah. Like, but I mean, if it was a bar that you really liked, I've paid $2.50, $3 a bar for something that I really like. And, you know, certainly 4 and $5 for a dessert option that I like. But for this, again, costs way more than a glass of water. Number five, would we recommend it? Can we go back to the website now? Yes. Let's go back to the website. This is the smart way to intermittent fast, which is don't do it at all. Well, I feel like we have to look at this before we say would we recommend it or Eat not. Eat through it. Okay. So it says it is similar to water. Our delicious flavors do not raise your blood glucose levels and keep your ketones in a fasting state. Fast with food. I don't disagree with that statement. Okay. Okay. Possibly vegetable fiber inulin could raise your glucose for some people. A small amount. It's not nearly as bad as like um, soluble corn fiber. Okay. Okay. The honey, depending on how much and depending on how sensitive you are, you are may or may not raise your glucose. Because there, again, depends on how much is in there. So I, I'm not going to completely disagree without even looking at their evidence, that this probably shouldn't jack your glucose up. It's not eating a chocolate bar. Right. It's not eating a Gatorade snack bar, which I got offered to me at a football game once, and it was like 58 total carbohydrates. Right. It's nuts. So nuts in itself should keep your glucose stable, and because you're using high-fat nuts, like almonds, macadamia nuts, and pecans, that fat many times will overcome the little bit of honey in there and should keep your glucose pretty flat. But you know what else I could eat during this time? Bacon. That's true. I could eat a hamburger. That's true. There's a lot of things that I could eat that's not going to skyrocket my glucose. And they're saying for ketones that it should elevate your ketones. Again, don't disagree with that because you're eating a bunch of fat. But you know what else can elevate your ketones? Butter. Butter, MCT oil, bacon. Beef tallow. Beef tallow. So not going to completely disagree with that. Let's go back to the website. So similar to water. Similar so, to water. It's similar to water. I, similar to water. Like so, really? In how, in what way or is it similar well, to water? Well, then we're going to look. It okay. says fat bars recipe is designed to nourish your body while maintaining its fasting state. For that reason, it's best enjoyed during your morning intermittent fasting window. Right now, right? Because we ate three hours ago. 
or as a late night snack to satiate you before bed oh, because man. this won't count before you go to bed. Wow. And what do most people struggle with? People struggle with late night snacking. That's right. They really do. Me. So this is marketed. This is perfect for me. This is marketed to somebody who would enjoy a reason to eat while they're like watching television and not deal with a late night snacking issue, which is hard. It is challenging to do. It is a pain in the but butt. But according to their website, to I can stop. stay up until three in the morning, which in itself is not good for me, and eat these and I will still be fasting. That's what they're saying. You want to go back to their website? Because yes. your graph was coming up. Yes. This is their study. Yes. In a randomized controlled study of 105 adults, participants fasted overnight for 15 hours and then had breakfast, a fast bar, or water. Blood glucose and ketones were measured every hour for four hours with results shown above. Okay, we're going to zoom in on this because, again, fasting bar is equal to water. Let's look at the glucose response. So the blue line, can we go in more? The blue line is the people who had water. Look at their glucose. It is stable, right? Yeah. And then we look at the fasting bar. It is pretty much the same thing. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. So glucose did not go up, which again, I said, most likely your glucose really won't go up unless you're super, super sensitive to that. Um, honey, and again, because you have so much fat, a lot of times that's going to kind of even out. Dr. Lenskis talked about how if you have carbohydrates, when you have it with a fat source, many times you don't get as much of a spike. Right. Right. Now let's look at the ketones. Okay. Blue line, water fast. Ketones start at a little over 0.2, and they go up to around a 0.4, and they're just continually going up. The FMD bar, they actually go down. Why do they go down? Because you fed yourself something. And so your ketones temporarily go down because it doesn't need to create ketones because it's going to use the ones that are in your body and yes. then it's going to just feed off of the fats you're giving. Because this is happening. This is actually happening. The emperor, he has no clothes on. Right. He's naked. Right. It's happening. Right. So if your ketones went down when you ate this, to me that says this is not equal to water. Right. But let's go back. So then what happens is it hour three, they're about the same. It comes back up to where the water is. And then at hour four, they're slightly higher, probably somewhere around a 0 0.4, 0 0.5 compared to the 0.4. And why is that? Because you gave yourself some extra fats. So your body doesn't need those extra fats. So what does it do is it creates ketones. You know how you can have similar results? You can just fast with water and your ketones will go up maybe slightly slower or if you don't want to have any of the junk that's in here, I wouldn't say junk, but if you don't want to have this You don't much, have to pay for this. Go take a half a teaspoon of MCT oil or a teaspoon. You're at like 50 calories, so a quarter of this, and your ketones will go even higher. Right. You're still breaking a fast. You know, at least many people will tell you you're breaking a fast. Or you could take exogenous ketones, which again, you'd still be breaking a fast because you're giving yourself some sort of fuel. Remember, the definition of fasting is abstinence from food or drink for or both for health, ritualistic, religious, and ethical purposes. So if you consume anything, you're technically breaking your fast. Some people say you can have 50 calories or 100, but this is 200 calories. Well, it's just what I'm more worried about is that this will play to the struggle that we have to regain our health. Because this is not the only type of product that's marketed to us like this. I see things like keto gummies, like eat whatever you want and then eat a keto gummy or take a pill, pop a pill. That's like a carb blocking mechanism. So there's lots of products. And they're not just marketing this to us. They're marketing to every Everybody. diet person. Yeah. They're not just saying, hey, this is for keto people. They're saying, hey, if you've heard intermittent fasting is good, even if you're not on keto, well, you can have this. Well, like, that's good. Let's give somebody a whole bunch of fat while they're in their fasting window when they're used to consuming carbohydrates. Fat and carbs don't mix really well. Um, so what do we recommend it? 
Absolutely not. Obviously, no. we were having fun with this. We were never going to recommend this. But we wanted to bring this to light. Yeah, and because... that's why we spent $35 on Right. It. Just to remind somebody out there that we are really proud of the actual hard work you are putting into consistency in your diet and in your life every single day. You're not taking the shortcut or even something that is advertised to you as a shortcut. You're doing the hard work to actually intermittent fast if that's something that you're interested in doing or you're just staying on keto, you're just staying on plan. Maybe you're exercising and you're making that a value in your day and you are consistent in it. We're really proud of you because you're not taking a shortcut, you're doing it right, and you're going to have way different results than somebody that tries to depend on this. Yep. The bottom line is, this is not going to help you. Please don't buy this. This is why we do product reviews. We found this, we bought it, and we bought it to show you. Please don't buy this stuff. There are some keto-friendly bars out there if you need a bar, keto bricks, NOLA bars, things like that, but none of them are going to tell you this is is going to help you get through a fast. It is your food. Anytime you put something in your mouth, you're going to have an insulin reaction. If you put protein, if you put fat in your mouth, you're gonna have an insulin reaction. Insulin is a fat storing hormone. It is a growth hormone. You cannot lose weight in the presence of insulin. Now we need insulin, but we wanna control it. And so if you're in the middle of the night, if you're in the middle of your morning, midday fast, and you have this, you're going to spike some insulin, and that means that during that time, you can not lose weight, regardless of what your glucose does, regardless of what your ketones do. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we put right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent videos I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we do a product review, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.